the Atacalacho. By your super sweet, sweet, sweet Princess Silka. I'm so tired today. I almost did not sleep. Can you hear it in my voice? I'm intelligent and full of wisdom. And in San Francisco, I had three babysitters for these sporadic evenings where we would go out for dinner. Sporadic, seldom. So two of them I had been renting the little apartment down below from the house we lived in. And one was the neighbor kid. And that's what I'm addressing. So the first one was some Asian. Yeah, now I have to say bitch, right? No, she was pretty. And she wrapped around her finger some American boy who looked like a soldier. They were just about to get married. The few months before the wedding, she lived there. Well, she probably did the usual. Play some games, look at the toys, or something with the kids. Just like what anybody, I think, would do. They were young, very young. Elementary school young. The second was Jen, the lesbian with a PhD, who had low self-esteem. Yeah, she looked like a boy. She was super cool. She lived there for many years, and when we left, Yaiki arranged for the new owners to also rent her that little apartment. That was a great move, I say. So she offered, of course, to babysit, so did the previous one. <clears throat> so we left <clears throat> in good, good hands with Jen. Yeah, she was young. <clears throat> I don't know, she had a PhD in biology. She was very disappointed. She said, after all the study I did, I kind of don't earn much money. Get it? Wow. It's just so unjust, right? I think it is unjust. She has some specialized, you know, bio, whatever. And now she still earns nothing. I think it's unjust, it's not right. Why was she lesbian? I don't know, because she was afraid of men. I guess she had been abused. And she was very submissive. Oh, and she feared authority. She feared me. As I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know if she ever stopped fearing. Maybe, yes. Oops, yes, I bumped into her. Later, one day, we bumped into her. And that was a nice little encounter, short. It's always about healing. So, as I came back, as we came back from the dinner, in the perfectly neatly and clean kitchen, we see a plate of large cookies decorated with glaze and different colors. It blew my mind. Because no one had asked her to do anything but take care of the, baby, of the children, right? She brought in this great project. That was not the only one. I think she had a few more of those. I cannot remember what it was. She went the extra length, the mile, to have a super great time with the children. So encouraging. That was so awesome. <laughs> I cherish it in my heart. And one day we had to call the neighbor kid. Well, I know Sandy, that was the woman. She worked, she was uh, an alone, a mother alone. And yeah, she liked plants, I guess, because I saw never her garden. But 
one of her plants grow over on my fence. Very nice little pretty like reddish flowers. It was pretty. No, I don't complain. It was good. Whatever. It's all good. So she recommended her son to take care who was like 18. Don't know. So here comes this American boy who's like overweight. Like, ah, oh, okay, ooh, okay. Yeah, just like in the movies, man, they're all like stupid, the cats. But he doesn't talk. Just like those in the movies. Which movie, right? Yeah, well, you have to sit on the couch and do nothing. <laughs> that kind of movie. So, we were still in, he already had taken a seat at the, in the TV chair. Not minding the children. Now they were older, it didn't matter. Okay, let me think about it. And, uh, da, 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 da. So when we moved, so we went to the second grade. So yeah, small, still seven. She was six and Alex was eight then. So here we go, never mind, because it's our neighbor kid and it's just in the evening and they're just about to go to bed anyhow. And the kid, then Flynn calls, Jay, calls Jackie on his cell phone shortly after we left. He literally said, and where is the air condition? Now shall I stop the video right there? What a no no. Ah, I wasn't prepared to find words. What a idiot. How disrespectful. We, he got paid to allow us to have an evening without interruption. And selfishly he calls, where is the air condition? No, there's no air condition in that house. He dares to do that? Yeah, make a, make a line and put the total in. What is this? It's the mother who takes too much good care of her son, who became like an idiot. Well, of course, he never came again. He never called him again, ever. Try to do the dash. He got low tire pressure, he ain't getting cash. 